Hi, everybody. All right. So I wanted to put this story up because I'm really tired of everybody saying Obama's the reason that Harriet Tubman is getting put on the 20 and how he is the only one who was involved in changing the dollar, you know, the $20 bill. Ladies and gentlemen, these people you see on TV that are your public officials, they are puppets for lobbyists. And that is exactly what they are. The central bank set the agenda from the IMF and all the organizations over them and all the people who own those organizations, corporations thereof. They set the tone and they move it down the line to their puppets. Now, Obama, Putin, Netanyahu, uh, Trujillo, or whatever his name is, I apologize, I was in Canada, um, all the others, they have probably the ability to pick the person out of like 500 or 800 that they think that the uh, central banks probably, you know, get an idea of what they want and they give it to the president and Congress and, you know, a good collection of probably about 20,000 people. And say, all right, these are our top 5,000 picks. I want you guys to select somebody that you think is, you know, representable. And, of course, you know, before that, they get a notice in the mail or the uh, email and stuff that says, all right, guys, look, you got this notice from the IMF and all the organizations thereof. Uh, they want to change the the picture on the note. We're putting a list of, you know, concepts together. Who and what do you want to see? Obama writes down, you know, American civil rights activists, preferably black, or whatever he writes. I, I, I don't know if he would write preferably black, but I highly doubt he's going to put Snowden on the $20 bill. I would. But I also have enough intelligence to know that Snowden is an insider as well. Because if he wasn't, they would have shot him dead years ago. I believe he's a reverse Osama bin Laden story. I do. The exact same media they used on Osama bin Laden. Pictures and words on a paper. And some mild video is the Snowden situation. And they could have him... On a blue screen, or they could use CGI and people in the background using software to create his videos of him speaking and everything else. Now, I'm not going to get into that, but I'm basically trying to show you that this is happening involving all the central banks. It's not just all the central bank nations, I should say. I imagine it is not happening in any other nation that is not a central bank nation. And that the puppets thereof kind of get to put their own leverage as to what they want to see. Uh, I actually liked the Canadian note where it showed the uh, glass beaker and the, you know, the laboratory setting. I thought that was cool. Uh, this one here, um, I actually had to redo this video because I had a major uh, wording mistake. And it, it, it was just so bad, I had to change it. So this one here, ladies and gentlemen, is by uh, J.M.W. Turner. He was a famous, well-known artist of Britain. Uh, his stuff is hanging in the National Gallery in London. Uh, and basically... Yeah, I'll just go to this real quick. J.M.W. Turner for the star. And that's who they chose. And basically, out of 29,700 nominations, 590 different characters were eligible according to the bank. So of 590, this guy made the cut. Um, also, his stuff's hanging in London's Tate. Britain Gallery. So, 
it's going to be very interesting to know who this guy was. Um, I'm not going to go into it so much, even though I used to paint. Uh, I used to actually sell my art and stuff. I was going to say paint. I never painted. I drew mostly. My stuff was hanging in various places when I was younger. And people did actually purchase my art and hang them in businesses and stuff when I was younger. But I really don't care about famous artists and famous painters. You know, knowing this guy's work is not going to cause me to be a millionaire overnight, nor is it going to cause any of the major women in my area to somehow all of a sudden be attracted to me. So, the person who, or group thereof, who put this together was the Banknote Character Advisory Committee. Oh, I'm sorry. You're already on it. Good. Um, on behalf of the Bank of England. And according to a statement released alongside the picture of the new 20 note, Bank of England said the new note will come into circulation by 2020. And they're actually pushing the $5 note uh, to come out in circulation in September. And it'll be unveiled in June. So, for those of you who think this is Obama wanting black people on the uh, our money, you know, personally I think there needs to be a Native American every once in a while. That's just me. I know they're on coins and stuff, but every once in a while toss in a Native. Let it be. Um... And I just wanted to kind of give this to you because I wanted to show that it wasn't just the United States. Canada's probably changing theirs. Uh, Germany's probably changing theirs. Israel's probably changing theirs. All the major central banking nations that you can name, ladies and gentlemen, are probably changing theirs. Thank you.